Hey guys, I'm your girl Jenny Beauty Reviews. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I am going to be testing out somewhat new products over here. First, I want to do some moisturizer. We're going to do this nectar. This is from Bloom Effects. This is the Royal Tulip Nectar Moisturizing Nectar. So this is the packaging. And I will tell you guys the prices of each items down below in my description. So I did take off the safety seal and this is very liquidy. So I don't know how I want to go about this. Um, I wish there was some type of spoon or something where I can grab product. So I'm just, I just dipped in my fingers and now we're going to apply some. I have really dry sensitive skin. So I'm really hoping that this doesn't break me out or anything. But this is going really nicely and smoothly throughout my skin. I have super dry under eyes. And this feels nice. Okay. Um, I do feel super nicely hydrated and it does have an oily nectar texture. Um, so okay, let's go in with the eyebrows. For eyebrows, I'm just going to use what I have on hand and what I've been using lately. This is from Item Beauty. This is the Brow Chow Brow, Brow Pencil. And the shade I have is Deep Burnet. This is the pencil and how it looks. Go through my brows and speed through this with a little bit of music. Okay guys, brows are done and they're looking super nice. I have here the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer in the shade 180W from Rare Beauty. And I am going to be priming my eyelids with concealer as I always love to do this with concealer. Um, and so this is the very first time I'm using it upon like swatching it when I unboxed it, you know. So when I did unbox this, um, I did like swatch it and stuff like that. And I did show you guys the applicator, so here's the applicator once again. And we're just gonna dab a little bit on the eyelids. And we're going to um, blend this out. I do have the Lavish Brush Set right here from BoxyCharm. And I'm thinking of using like this flat one right here. Um, it does look a little fluffy, but it's also flat at the same time. And I think it will totally work for this, for what I'm trying to do. Um, because brushes are super versatile, and why not use it for different purposes, you know? So we're going to go ahead, um, I have the mirror down here. And we're going to go ahead and cover up these veins and dark eyelids that I have. I have super dark eyelids. They have a lot of veins, and the concealer feels good. I absolutely love how everything is looking so far. This skin is totally giving me such happy, glowy vibes. Super pretty, sleek, and feels super luxurious. I like how the shades are in the back. I wish the shades were inside the palette um, so I can easily reference them, but it's okay a good size mirror right there and here are the shades super duper beautiful and I believe the glitter is right in the middle we will be using that and we're gonna go ahead and create some type of look here beautiful fluffy one right here it is in the shade positive um, so it's going to be this tone right here and we're gonna grab the lavish brush right here for the crease and we're going to Ooh, that's a lot and I barely dipped it in there you guys so let's go ahead and go right into the crease this shade is so pretty on camera it doesn't look how it looks in person I love how it looks in person. It's super duper beautiful and I really appreciate this really beautiful peachy tone. Next up, I'm going to go into 
maybe this shade right here. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to dip into that one. It's called Genuine, and it is a brownish tone. So, again, this one right here is what I picked up on the brush. And it looks really pretty and super pigmented. Like, I'm going to have this on the outer V. And I'm just going to move that in little circles just to deepen up the outer corner V. And I'm not going to go above where I have that peachy tone laid down. I'm just going to go right under that and to the V of my outer eye. Just to deepen up that corner. You guys, I'm so happy for this palette. And honestly, it did take me a little bit to build up the peachy tone. But you guys, it's gorgeous. And I definitely appreciate how she or her team selected these colors and the color scheme for the palette. I really do like this palette so much. I mean, it's so gorgeous, so easy to work with, and I do appreciate something that I have to build up opposed to being super pigmented and not able to like fully blend it out, if that makes sense. So the fact that these are really blendable, easy to work with, and I think I can totally create several different eye looks and just super five minute quick easy makeup and be done this is a beautiful palette to reach for when i need those quick eye looks you might be like to spot clean it on a white beat and we're gonna go into this gorgeous shade right here it's like a goldish tone this one is called it's called undeniable and these names and tones they just fit so well together and that's definitely, I believe, Selena, Selena Gomez, like her personality and how she is. So the fact that she created this eyeshadow palette and brand um, with the things that she believes in and the way she is. I just think that's so beautiful, you know, in that self and that story. Um, so like I said, I will be using the same brush that I used for the concealer for the priming of the eyelids. And we're going to grab this shade right here on the outer corner outer corner is this the outer corner yeah right okay i thought i was tripping <laughs> so yeah anyways this is a seriously gorgeous like tone right here and i'm not gonna spray the brush i'm just gonna literally go in and see how it performs That's super pretty. A little bit more yellow than I was expecting. Um, but it's definitely a gorgeous, beautiful, like, yellowy gold. Something that I wasn't expecting. Like, looking at the pan, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to try to somehow go into the crease right here. And almost have, like, that little curve effect. If that makes sense. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but... I guess it will translate in the video. <laughs> and if you guys are my followers, you guys are my subscribers, and if you guys know me, you'll understand the way I talk, okay? Thank you guys. I really love you, and I appreciate you for having to, like, put up with me because I am not professional. <laughs> <laughs> but but I am myself and 100% myself and that's what you're gonna get all the time okay so thank you and I appreciate you I'm to go in I think I'm just gonna use like my finger um, into the glitter right here in the middle right there I'm excited this one's called accepting 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 I can never pronounce that accepting like I have to accept myself, you know, like, I always have to remind myself that, like, it's okay to be the way I am, you know? So, this is stunning. So, what I would like to do is dab this right in the middle. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and dab it in the middle. That's so pretty. I love it. I 
Next up, we're going to go in with the Rare Beauty Foundation. And I'm going to try out the... This is called the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. I have shade 220 Neutral. And I did swatch this when I first unboxed it. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and put this all over. And blend it in. Here's the packet. It's thundering outside. So this is the packaging. I love it so much. Guys, get out of the window. I think I'm going to shake it because I heard that like you have to shake this one. Okay. There is something in there. So, okay. I think that's enough. Hopefully. If you guys tried these products, please let me know how you like them. I'm going to go ahead and dot this all over. very luminous i do appreciate it i love um lum lumifying products like that you know what i mean like without having glitter and stuff like that i think i will blend a little more um into like my forehead and around my nose just because those are um some areas i didn't get to blend into so i'm gonna blend those out and i'll be right back we're going to jump into the concealer and we're going to just conceal under my eyes and I really appreciate the shape right here of the applicator. I love the shape so much so here we go. It feels super thick. Okay. And let's blend this out. I don't know you guys, I feel like maybe I have two different skin tones. Maybe... <gasps> The concealer is a little bit wow. lighter than what I would normally pick it up. We're going to go ahead and go in to set the face. I'm going to use my Complex Culture setting powder right here. And I really do enjoy this so much. This one actually is a new one. So we're going to open up the sticker and use it. Because I went through the whole setting powder from my first one. And oh, this is so satisfying. So this is my second one and I love this powder so, so, so much. We're going to go ahead and set and I'll be back with some blush and bronzer. So on this powder, there's no flashback. It's super soft, nicely milled and gives a wonderful translucent layer. I'm done with setting the face with this complex culture um, clarity translucent powder. I love that so, so, so much of it all all over so we're gonna go into the pacifica palette right here this is blush and bronzer this one's called the desert sunset matte blush and bronzer palette cruelty free vegan products here i love it so much we're oh i love this so much look how beautiful it lays on the skin you guys i absolutely love this i'm feeling super super beautiful let me just go ahead and fix the hair right quick before i look like a lion because i swear i'm not about to pounce on anybody but you guys this is so pretty i love it let's go into mascara this one here is from um this one's called go big or go home and this is from the kat von d um mascara i also wand I was gonna say I like the packaging with like the raised lettering, um, but this is the wand right there. 
and we're gonna go ahead and do a coat and see how I like this I hope it's a in between formula not too wet not too dry but we'll see I have super stubby lashes and they're straight lashes and they are super hard to like curl or keep a curl okay I like this Dang, look at those lashes. They look so pronounced, pretty, and it gave a beautiful black coating. I like this. And that's only one application. Dang, like before and after. I feel like they're fluttery. <gasps> okay, now we're going to do this eye. And I haven't dipped this back into the packaging. Like, this is still one, like, initial opening, if that makes sense. It has a lot of really beautiful formula on the one. And it's coating each one beautifully. <gasps> I like this so much. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Stop talking, Jennifer. Just look, you guys. My lashes, my skin, this face, these products. Yes, yes, yes. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, the foundation, the concealer works so beautifully. I love how they blend. Super duper lightweight. Like, literally, I don't feel like I'm wearing makeup. I love, love, love these products so, so, so far. I don't have any complaints, you guys. Oh my goodness. I just want to see how long they wear and if they wear to my nine to eight hour ratio. That's how normally my days, how long they are. We're going to jump right back into the palette from Rare Beauty. Um, it's called the Discovery Palette and I love it so much and I'm so happy I discovered it. Get it? Discovered it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So into the pack we go. I'm going to pull out this one. It's a little bit more of a pointy, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's pointy and I'm going to use it. Okay. It's from Lavish and we're going to pop in something in my waterline. I think I'm going to use that really pretty purpley shade right here on the other outer corner right here. This one I believe is called... Pure, like P-U-R-E, pure, pure, pure. I don't know how to pronounce it. But so I actually did mix both of them there um, because they're very similar in shade. I thought it was going to be a purpley tone, but it's a little bit more on the deepy, deeper side like matching the brown so I just um used both of them together and like smoked out on the bottom right there and connected it to the top here so that looks super pretty I'm gonna do a coat of um mascara for the bottom lashes and we'll be right back so here's everything so far I am loving it first with the lip balm I've been loving this so much ever since I got it from the busy beauty box um, the one that we created together. This is the Pacifica Rainbow Watermelon Lip Balm. And I've seriously been using this every single day. And it's so moisturizing for the lips. So we're going to just apply this. And then we'll go in with that one. It smells just like watermelon. I love it. So moisturizing. And it's a definite need of mine I need that every single day now we're gonna go into this guy right here um the shade is called Chantropez Chantropez something like that um I believe I didn't say the shade of it in my unboxing video so I do apologize Super soft and glossy. This Yay. is a liquid lip gloss from Mellow Cosmetics. And it's perfectly 
perfectly pigmented like here's a complete look I seriously love everything we're gonna go in to the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe sage and orange blossom I did pick this up when I um, got the giveaway gift card for Sephora um, some of the stuff I did pay myself and some I got from the uh, gift card that I won. My beautiful, amazing friend from Kayla's Curls. And yeah, you guys, so I'm just going to like miss the face with this one. I love the green one and I haven't tried this one. So let's go ahead and try it. So here we go. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions of this look and everything I reviewed today. So, yeah, leave me that in a sweet comment. I really appreciate it. So, here we go. I love it. Smells so good. So refreshing. Love, 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 love. If I could sing, I would make a song that says, love, 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 love. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, let me fix the hair. And I seriously loved everything. I really enjoyed the Bloom FX Royal Tulip Nectar. This totally gave my skin such hydration and I love the way it feels. It was a little bit messy. Um, I wish it came with like a spoon or something. Um, but you guys, this felt so good. I, I didn't even need to put on a primer because this is so good and you only need a little bit. I did have to like keep going in because I felt like um, I wasn't getting enough because the opening like wasn't big enough for my three fingers to like grab some product that's why i wish i had a spoon but you guys i really think it worked out really good i love the foundation concealer the mascara the setting powder um the rare beauty um eyeshadow palette super gorgeous um everything the mellow product here for the lips and the mirror everything i loved it I used three of them out of the five pack and these ones here are very beautiful. They worked so pretty and I love the little hairs. They feel really nice. And